hi everyone welcome to this new video welcome again to this special tutorial uh, which is about how to change the color of dress clothes and uh, anything you want on photoshop how to change colors in general so uh, you can apply this and have fun you can change the, the, the colors for uh, I image of your friends and you can do a lot of stuff with this technique so uh, let's start our video and uh, what I want to do I want to make this tutorial uh, for completely for beginners uh, so I will explain everything step by step and uh, so uh, this will allow anyone to make changes like this to change colors so just follow this video to the end and uh, let's start we have here our image here uh, let's duplicate the background okay so here is our old background here is the uh, whole, here is our old image and here is the new image so uh, right now we need to select uh, the the clothes that we want to change as you can see so let's select this dress and in order to select there is many tools you can use many tool as you like so you can use the polygonal lasso tool which you can use like this in order to select the dress okay if you mistaken about the point just click on delete and you will go back to the previous point uh, but in this case I will not use this tool why because uh, actually uh, the background is weight and it's very simple to select those type of in those type of background which is very simple so uh, let's use instead the quick selection tool and here you can adjust the size as you can see here you can adjust the hardness okay so let's make the hardness 80% and let's start like this so uh, here we have some some adjustment to make here so uh, to shrink the area the selected area all you need to do is click on alt and you will notice quickly that the plus change it to minus as you can see and start adjusting like this okay plus if you want to uh, ext uh, extend you go like this if you want to shrink you click on alt and after seeing the minus symbol you just need to so uh, I think the selection is good enough right now so the next step is click on select and mask as you can see on the top here and after clicking on that choose the for example choose a red background and here let's add some shift edge so the shift edge actually is uh, when you uh, adjust it to the positive uh, to the positive uh, it will make your selection extend as you can see and I need that because I don't want to have those area left in the black on those area uh, because if I did that when I change my color to some bright colors I will have those area showing as, as black okay so I need to uh, to extend the shift let's make it 10% okay and here the further I can adjust the further a little bit 
because I want this to be a little uh, the opposite of strong so to be like smooth okay so as you can see here I want to change this uh, uh, this combination as you can see so let's adjust also the smoothness here to around 10 contrast is good I still have those area and they don't want those area here so let's try to adjust the area using a brush and let's choose a small size Okay, so let's uh, for example let's extend the shift edge a little bit more as you can see right now I don't have those area anymore as you can see so I think 30% is 35 So 34 is good as you can see I don't have those area anymore on showing as you can see so let's hit OK and as you can see now the selection is a little bit over and I've played also with the smoothness so I don't have the, uh, the weird pixel over those area okay so let's uh, right now after my selection let's click on this uh, little icon here and let's choose a solid color okay like this so here we have a solid color let's for example make it for example let make it blue or any color you want for example okay let's make this in a group let's make this in a group by clicking on this little formula or by clicking on ctrl g and i want this mask to be in the group because we never make some adjustment on the mask or uh, if i want to add some area uh, whatever setting i have here i want those settings to be applied on the mask all the settings to be applied on the same mask so I need to make the mask uh, uh, the mask uh, for the group as you can see so the mistake that I made is actually this color is not inside the group okay so whenever I, I make the mask uh, to make changes on the group the color is outside the group so I need to uh, place all those elements inside the group as you can see so right now we have the elements inside the group and right now I can replace the mask directly uh, on the group as you can see so right now I am good so here on the mode let's select color okay so now I can apply any color I want and the color will exactly be applied uh, to the the dress as you can see I can make any color I want you can also choose a color by just applying a code like this so uh, here the next step is how you can make uh, the weight and the plug if you need it uh, let's try to 
select the weight as you can see it it turns on gray let's select the black the same thing okay so in order to make those colors you need to apply with the the lighting and you need to play with the darkness and the light okay and in order to do this we need to add the curve options as you can see so here we have the curves and let's turn this point a little bit darker let's make another point here and let's turn it darker as you can see and here is the black guys as you can see if you want to add a little bit of lighting you can do it this by adjusting this to the top so what about if I if I want to uh, adjust uh, the dress to be weight I will I will need uh, the lighting to be over as you can see like this and also let's add a little bit of weight like this and you can play with the settings until you uh, you achieve the color that you want for me uh, this is very satisfying as you can see and uh, that's how you can change the color of any color of dress on photoshop so uh, thank you guys for watching i hope uh, you like this video uh, don't forget to subscribe to fix it free in order to get uh, videos like this and we will go further for more complicated image where we will adjust shadows and lights and also uh, a lot of things and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button in order to get more of those videos. Thank you guys.